Hello and welcome to by Excellence Tutorials. So it's a continuation of um, the rotational dynamics uh, questions. And this must be our sixth video. And if you've not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, then you subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time we upload new content. Well, diving into today's or uh, this video's um, question, a wheel of radius six meter is mounted so as to rotate about a horizontal axis through its center. A string of negligible mass wrapped around, wrapped around its circumference carries a mass of 200 grams attached to its free end. When allowed to fall, the mass descends through 100 centimeter in five seconds, calculate the angular acceleration of the wheel, its moment of inertia and the tension. All right, so we are asked to find three things in this question, the angular acceleration, the moment of inertia and the tension in the cord. Now, I think this must be similar and the approach basically for Rotational dynamics is kind of the same, all right? So here, once you look at that system, you need to, to think about torque. You need to think about Newton's second law of motion. Okay, so now, this, all right, this mass has got weight, mg, and there is a tension there, T. We need to find the tension force in that string. All right, so we have that. And if allowed to drop, we are told to say it drops 100 centimeter in five seconds. 100 centimeter in five seconds. All right, so we have our time, five seconds, height, 100 centimeter or one meter. All right, and the mass of this is 200 grams or 0 0.2 kg. Okay, what else doing? We have the radius. So this, it has got a radius there arrow of six centimeter, which is 0 0.2. Um, 0 0.06 meters. All right. So we have all that, and we need to find uh, what's this? The acceleration, the moment of inertia, and the tension. So, what we know, let's start with what we know. So, from the data that we've been given, we can be able to find the acceleration. Okay. How do we do it? So the first one, angular acceleration. We know that height is given by that. T, like that, all right. So now, what is our height? Our height is one meter. And this system is going to be released, meaning it's going to come from rest. So we have zero here, plus half A, and our time is five seconds. So we have one meter being equal to, um, 0 0.5 times 25, because five squared is 25 times A. So we divide both sides. Let's say we have 0 0.5 times 25. What do we get? We get 12.5. So we have um, 
acceleration 0 0.08 meter per square second. <clears throat> so now, this is the tangential acceleration. But in the question, we've been asked to calculate the angular acceleration. How do we do that? We know the relationship between the tangential and the angular. So we know that tangential, um, we know that uh, for sure, tangential acceleration, <clears throat> okay. Tangential acceleration is given by R times angular acceleration. So now, after getting this relationship, we know that our angular acceleration is basically tangential acceleration over R. So 0 0.08 meter per square second over the radius, which is 0 0.06 meters. So our angular acceleration is going to be 1.33 rad per square second. So you would have found uh, the first part of this question. And now let's look at um, Newton's uh, second law so newton's second law we know that the summation of forces all right yes so now we have the forces in the vertical so if it was to drop meaning it was going to move downwards here so we are going to have mg minus the tension force being equal to ma all right so we can easily make T the subject of the formula, and we are going to have that. Where we can factor out the mass, and we have that. So now, tension is going to be the mass, which is 0 0.2 kg times the gravitational acceleration minus the acceleration, which is 0 0.08 meter. So uh, don't use this one, 1.3, because 1 1.3, 1.33 is in rad per second, and G there, we've used it in meter per square second. So don't uh, swap them. So you are going to find, 1.95 Newton. So this is going to be the, the tension force in that code. Having found that you are, it's easy now for you to get the to get the moment of inertia of the wheel. So we know that from those two equations that we've been dealing with and also torque equal to that, we equate these moment of inertia TR over alpha, like that. We should be able to get our moment of inertia okay so moment of inertia is going to be the tension 1.95 newton multiplying by the radius which is 0 0.06 meters and the angular acceleration which is 1.33 rad per square second so what do we get so what we get here now is
zero point zero eight seven eight kg square meter. So that would be our moment of inertia. All right. So if you loved this video, kindly give a reaction. Give me the comments in the comment box there, and I'll be glad to get your, your, your feedback about what we do so that we save you better. All right. Otherwise, I'd by excellence to believe that happiness is understanding and clearing physics. See you in the next video.